What's up, what's up, everybody? It's your boy AD. How y'all doing today, man? I'm finna talk about this Grammys. I'm not gonna really talk about the whole Grammy performance. All I'm gonna talk about is really just about Adele and Beyonce and just really give y'all some truthful facts about what's really going on and why they have such a competition between Adele and Beyonce. And I'm gonna read a quick article to y'all on Yahoo Digest. Let me show y'all real quick. The article I'm about to read, it is my bad, but you see Adele, uh, you can't see, oops, you can't see the words, but you can see Adele, but I'll read it to you. It says Adele Sweets Grammys delivers two show-stopping performances. So this is why, let me get to the point of this, right? The Grammys is no different than anything else, okay? Now... For anybody who is not black watching this video, do not get mad. Do not think I'm just a black person running my mouth or just, you know, crying and whining. Because I respect and love all people and I'm here to just tell folks the truth. Because they're setting these type of things up just so people can think certain stuff. Because what I mean is, is that they're, they're purposely, the people that run the music, entertainment, and everything else are purposely setting up narratives against black and white, black and white, black and white. If you've been noticing lately, for the past maybe year or so, or three years, it's been a lot of things that pretty much put black people against white people. And here we go again with the Grammys, with Adele versus Beyonce. And to be honest, uh, like, the brainwashing that they're doing is this. Basically, they make black people do this bogus, stupid shit, you know, because every and then they make white folks do shit that claim to be better than what the black folks are doing, and they'll always up to talk the white people and make the black people look bad. Kind of like in the Super Bowl, you had the white Patriots against the black Falcons. You know, uh, I guess you could say the black team versus the white team, and notice how the white team won. And I'm and I can't believe it's people out here saying, "Oh, why are all the black people saying sports is rigged? Why are all the black people?" say mad because their team lost like don't y'all get how the game really works don't y'all see they're setting this up don't y'all understand they made all these white quarterbacks win and gave them all these titles on purpose just so y'all think that white is the best when in reality they're pulling the damn rug from under y'all and keeping y'all clouded making y'all think y'all the best while paying these privileged as stars who don't give a damn about y'all but let's go to the article. I'm sorry, I gotta break it down to y'all so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. So when I read this article to y'all, y'all understand that I'm right. Okay, Adele Sweets Grammys delivers two show-stopping performances. See that right there. Why did Adele perform twice but Beyonce once? You know what I'm saying? Like that right there. See, it's the setup. They gave her an extra performance just to make people think Adele is so great. Because let's be honest, who, who mostly likes Adele? White folks. Who mostly likes uh, uh, Beyonce? Black people. Don't you get it? They're setting these up on purpose. They're, they're trying to make Adele look like the best when in reality she's not, no, she's not better than Beyonce. She's not a better performer. She's not a better singer. And it's not because, oh, I'm black, I like Beyonce. Because to be honest with you, I don't really like none, no star. Okay, I'm just keeping it real. Something that they don't want white folks doing. They don't want white folks keeping it real about stuff. As long as they winning and getting the best of the best, they shut the fuck up. And see, that's bad because you could def you should stand up for people when shit is wrong. No matter if they're black, white, what, you should stand up for them. But see, they don't want white folks doing that. The 59th Annual Grammy Awards had Adele's name written all over it. See how much shit they giving Adele? See, it's like they just want you to think she the best. She opened the show with her perfect rendition of her hit song, Hello. Yeah, that was weird to me, too, because I did catch that at the beginning. And we was like, damn, here she go performing the same old song. Like, we've been hearing this song forever and ever. And here she go coming out performing it again like it's the best. And, oh, don't think these singers are really singing either, okay? Don't don't think when these stars come out and perform, do not think they're really fucking singing because they're not. They're lip syncing. And even when it sounds like it's... Um, in the stage or something, that's recorded too. Wake up, y'all. Wake up. They playing with y'all. These motherfuckers ain't even singing. And y'all getting excited. Then later perform a tribute or to the late pop star George Michael and went home as the night's biggest winner with five awards and a sweep that beat out Beyonce's Lemonade. See, it was hella other people there at those Grammys. It was hella performance. But you see how the article is focused on the white woman and the black woman.
Don't y'all get it? And look who won. The white woman. She sweeps it. She wins it all. Don't you get it? They doing this on purpose. They've been doing this to white people for the longest. They always giving white people more so they don't never notice what's going on. It's so bad that white people don't even notice when they do wrong. That's how bad the brainwashing has gotten. White people, if I was white, I'd be mad. I'd be like, you motherfuckers, y'all just feeding us bullshit so we don't see the truth. Because the main reason why they doing this to y'all white folks is so y'all don't fucking, you know, merge with other people. Y'all don't respect and merge with other people. Y'all don't come together. You keep divided from everyone else because you keep thinking you're better and they're not, you know. Because I swear, there's something wrong with white folks. It's like white folks got a certain hatred. Now, I mean, it's not all white people, okay? So when I talk, it's not all. It's, I, I think it's a majority, though. I, I feel like it's a, it's a certain majority of white people that just got a hatred towards blacks. And it's so bad that anybody can say anything about a black person, and they'll just believe it and think it's wrong and then think they deserve to get shot down and whatever. You know? Um, kind of like that movie Life. Remember in the movie Life when... uh. When, what's the name, when Eddie Griffin, or not Eddie Griffin, when Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence, remember they uh, got locked up for a crime they didn't commit, and remember the white dude killed the white dude, and the black dude said, hey, we didn't do this, and to see how the white people just believed it, you see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? They, they, they done brainwashed y'all, so now white folks can do white people dirty, blame it on black people, and white people still think black people did it. See, it's, the, it's no different than what in the past. And remember how dude didn't want to believe him when he was like, don't you think it's kind of strange how all these black people are in jail claiming to be innocent? And he was like, what? What do you mean that's strange? Like, duh. You know, they're saying that because they probably fucking are. And why is it so many black people in jail? What, do you think it's just because niggas don't know how to act? No. It's because the system is set up to put black people in jail because they don't want black people making it. Now, this article is not long, so I'm not going to be talking forever. Um, Adele tips her hat to her biggest rival for the honor, saying that Beyonce deserves a win. See, now they trying to make Adele look like she's a good winner. Like, oh, I won and I tip my hat to you, you know, trying to make her look like, you know, and I bet you white people will look at that and be like, see, look at Adele. She's the greatest. She even has enough respect to give to Beyonce. And notice how in this article it says that, that uh, Adele even said that she deserved a win. See, it's like they're telling you the truth because Beyonce should have won, okay? I don't even know why people like Adele like that. She born as hell. She is not the greatest singer. She don't move around. She don't do nothing. She is not the greatest performer. She is not. Like, not only do you got to be a great singer, you have to be a great performer in order to be considered one of the best in this industry. Like Michael Jackson, a great singer, a great performer. Like Beyonce, a great singer, a great performer, not just a singer, you know? Something else that they do with these white celebrities that I be peeping out that I'm not stupid to make them over to make them look like they trump black people is they'll give them instruments. I noticed that they love to give white people pianos, guitars and violins and instruments to make them look like they're more musically talented than us. And they'll also make them believe like that type of music with instruments is better than rap or something like that. When in reality, any music, any genre can be good. There is no such thing as this genre better than that genre because all genres produce great music. Well, not as good as what it used to, but they have possibilities and capabilities of producing great music. Okay, Adele later stopped and, restart, and restarted her performance of George Michael Faz Love, saying she wanted to get it right for him. She nailed it, ending it in tears and mouthing, thanks to a sympathetic audience. See, that's something else I noticed about white people that I told you. This because this is the brainwash for white folks. White folks don't understand this. This is going to be a downfall for them if they don't wake up to what I'm talking about. That even when white people mess up and do something bad, white people will still just be like, and she's just so great. Because I peeped that when I was watching the Grammys. I was like, look at that. Adele fucked up. I'm like, how she just completely fuck up? Curse. She cursed in front of everybody, which is rude for women. Because women who curse is not, that's not a good quality for women. Like, period. I mean, I know men curse, blah, blah, blah. But it's not ladylike to curse. But here she on here cursing all in front of everybody. Oh, beep, 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 beep. 
oh, let me do it right again. And then you see everybody just claps for her and chills for her. Like, you see what I'm saying? Y'all, but I bet you if that was a black person, y'all probably would have been like, oh, she effed up. She fucked up. See, that black person ain't shit. But you see how white people can do the same thing? And most of y'all don't notice it. See, they already got the white people come uh, brainwashed under this spell. But it's sad that black people, for the few, even though it's only a few of us, that fall for it too. Because that we shouldn't be falling for this shit. We really shouldn't, because we're not that comfortable in this country, unlike other races. And again, I'm not talking down. I'm just being honest. So get mad at me if you want. I don't give a fuck. If y'all can't handle the truth, then, hey, man, y'all don't deserve to know it. And I feel sorry for y'all lives in the future, because I'm not here to talk down about race. I'm here to point out the facts. I'm here to show what's really they're trying to put in your brains. Because don't you think I'm right? Why do you think it's so much black-white tension lately going on in the past years? Why do you think you see they just pretty much based this Grammys off black versus white? Why do you think it's another movie coming out later this uh, year called Fish Fight about a black dude going against a white dude? And a black dude is acting all crazy and a white dude is acting all cool. You see how they brainwash y'all? Do you see it? Let me guess. Let me guess. So let me guess. In that movie, Ice Cube gonna get his ass whooped or the white guy's gonna figure out some way to get ahead of him. Don't you see why I hate this fake shit? So then now white people start really in their minds thinking that they can really just outdo blacks no matter what they do, no matter who it is. And that's not about skin color which they don't understand, and that's why they don't want people paying, and that's so crazy how they'll teach white people not to, to, to think that everyone is equal, but deep down in white folks' minds, they'll still think they're superior and better than any black, ain't that some crazy shit, because I swear, they, they trying to be secretive now, and I think Donald Trump becoming president really kind of exposed a lot of these white folks for their obvious racism that they had deep down inside about us since day one, and it's now starting to come out now. I mean, they don't even understand that most of the shit they hating about us is not even real. Hmm, I shake my head. Um, well, that's pretty much it. Because I'm not going to sit here and argue or sit here and talk. I pretty much told y'all what it is, white versus black. Make white people think white people are always better. I mean, just watch the media. Watch the news. Watch, watch. Like, uh, you remember that uh, George Lopez just recently just came out and made a bogus-ass statement about, um about black people and saying, oh, you shouldn't marry them and nothing like that. And you know why they did that? Just so white people, here go another thing where white people cannot defend blacks and make up excuses. Because I bet you most white people will make up an excuse for George Lopez and be like, yeah, he's just a comedian. That's what comedians do, but won't realize that's bogus. Like, you're a comedian, you're saying, don't date black women, you shouldn't date black women. That's pretty fucking grimy in my honest opinion. I don't think I ever heard a black comedian say, don't date white women. You shouldn't date white men or white women. But he could say it. He could say, he could say it and everybody's like standing up for him because it's about black people. You see what I'm saying? Because I bet you majority of white people who heard that, I bet you they'll be like, they'll just be like, oh, he's comedian. You see how they make up an excuse for their deep down hatred? And you see how what I'm saying is going to happen. That's why I advise any black people out here trying to be white following the Joneses in their system, even though it's technically not theirs either. Y'all better wake up, because y'all don't understand. Y'all finna get the rug pulled right the fuck from under y'all. And it's already happening right now. And they're trying to get in your brain. And shit like the Grammys and all this other shit, and George Lopez, all this black-white bullshit is just to confuse you and make you more hateful of black people. I mean, that don't make no sense how them black folks, how them black folks uh, so-called kidnap that mentally challenged white boy and you see how everybody jumped on the train and just started hating the black people didn't even know what the story was about didn't fully analyze it didn't think just hate the black people see what i'm saying they're trained to hate us they're trained to think they're better than us so when shit get real for them oh here's a perfect example and i end it like this because y'all think i'm lying but i know i know what i'm talking about Remember in the movie, Don't Be a Menace to Society While Drinking Your Juice in the Hood? Remember how the Asian people, because they, they try to act like they're not black neither, because everyone has a level. I, sh I should make a, a video about this, how everyone has a level. Black people are at the bottom, white people are not at the top, but they're higher to the top. But, 
Remember how the Asian people was watching the black people because, you know, they train all the other races to hate blacks, too. Remember how they was watching the black people hard as hell, worried about them stealing and shit. And why you, they were so worried about the black people doing wrong. Notice how the white man came in there, robbed them, robbed them, clean in their face and walked out and they didn't even notice it. Want to know why? Because they're too hating the black people. Go watch that movie, American Superhero. Go watch that with Eddie Griffin and that one white dude. And look how fucked up of a white dude he was on drugs and all crazy type of shit. And look how they made the black people look bad, but he was a killer too and doing bum bogus dumb shit. Notice how he was in an interracial relationship. You think I'm lying? Wake up, y'all. They controlling y'all brains, man. I hope y'all understand that. And white folks, y'all really need to wake up because they, they really toying with y'all. It's sad, but peace out. Like this video.